Hey guys, the weekend's here, but I wanted to try to make some progress on a side project I'm working on. Plus, I have no life, so I didn't have any other plans. I came down to a co-working space called Common Desk here in Raleigh. It's a pretty chill spot, and I like the vibe and aesthetic of the place. On the weekends, there'll be no one here, so to be nice and quiet, I'll be able to get some distraction-free work done. I don't really have a revolutionary idea yet, so in the meantime, I've just been making random apps that I want. A few of them are older, and honestly, I don't know if they still work, to be honest. But I've got a couple that I'm proud of. One of the ones I'm proud of is the chatbot app that uses ChatGPT and allows you to build your own GPT bots for different things. Although, ChatGPT kind of just released a feature that pretty much does the same thing but I'll still link it below if you guys want to check it out. The one I'm working on today is actually a new one and it's a travel related app. It'll mainly help you keep track of like your favorite places when you travel and it'll also be able to help you see where your friends went or the places they liked when they travel. I always hated getting the question, hey where should I go when I come to Orlando? Because I always forget places and by the time I remember them, it's too late. It's hard to think of those places on the fly. So with this app, you can just go to your Orlando list and just share it with whoever asked you, or that person can just go check it out. Another reason I'm building this is because sometimes I'll travel to a city and then I'll end up going back there maybe a year or a couple years later, and I can never remember the cool place or restaurant that I went the last time I was there. So now I can easily keep track of those places and the next time I go to that city, it'll be there. Today though, the feature that I'm trying to work on is I want to enhance the onboarding. Currently, once the user signs up, it takes them directly to the main page, but I want to guide the user through creating their first entry. So that way you don't get into the app and don't have any data. And you've also been able to walk through the entire process of adding data into the app. I'm curious what you guys think of the idea though. So leave a comment below if you have any ideas for the app or if you think it's something that you'll use. But that's enough for right now. Time to get a workout in. So I kind of want to talk about how to get started in tech or programming or software engineering, whatever you want to call it. I could think of like three main ways, you know, the way that I went, which was college. That's obviously one. And um, so college, even though a lot of people discredit it, it's not required, but I don't think it hurts. If you're younger or you have the financial capability or you have time, like you're not worried about getting a job in any time or whatever, I think it's a good choice. The problem is, at least in my experience with college, you don't really get a lot of practical experience. Like they don't, I didn't really build a bunch of apps or anything like that. I had to do all of that on my own. They taught me a lot of theory, but not so much like 
what I want to do on my actual job. So that was a disconnect for me. So if you are going down that route, you still got to really do a lot of self-learning. Maybe it's different for other schools though. But that, that was my experience with it. So college is cool. That's one way. That's not the only way. But still, even if you get a degree, you still need work experience. So focus on building projects. So the next way would be boot camps or some kind of certification type course. Uh, there's a bunch of them. There's like flat iron school. I, I don't know. There's a bunch of boot camps. Those are useful and can be helpful because they give you real practical experience. But at the same time, everyone in your class that's graduating with you has the same experience. So again, you still have to focus on, you know, building your own personal projects and just really trying to set yourself apart so that you're not like in line with like 30 people that have the same projects, the same resume. And sometimes those boot camps, they seem to align with like a lot of the free material that's out there. So it really depends on if you need structure. If you're a person that needs like a structure, then they can be really helpful. Now that my workout's over, I'm gonna get a little bit of cleaning done. The living room kinda got messy this week. It was kinda busy. I even have my treadmill that I use to walk and work out in the living room. One thing that I need is a clean desk when I work. So I always have to get my desk back to normal before the work day. Anyone else like this? Or is it just me? Am I crazy? I'm about to kill this cereal. I'm a milk first kind of guy. So the last way to get into tech, in my opinion, um, is the self-learning route. And it, it can be tough because where do you start? Like, um, it's so broad. So like, there's so many different places you can start. How do you pick? Will that choice affect you negatively? You don't know, like, it's hard to know. So what I typically will tell my friends who are jumping in is kind of, I'll try to like find out what they're interested in. Okay, so let's take like, I'll, I'll kind of ask them stuff like, okay, are you a visual person? Do you want to see what you're building? Do you want a user to see and like press a button that you put on the screen and it now does this thing? If so, then maybe you should look into trying front end first. Or do you not care about that and do you want to kind of just just like actually just write the code and you know maybe move data around and kind of learn that aspect of it then you can kind of jump to back end. You can try both. You can flip flop. It doesn't matter. You just have to choose a place to start. Another thing, let's say now taking the front end route, you kind of got to niche down more now. So typically what I'll ask is like, what do you want? What are you interested in? It really is just what you're interested in. Start with what you like because you'll have more fun doing it and you'll be more motivated to actually finish. So I'll typically say like with front end, do you like games, web or mobile apps? And depending on what they choose, I'll just try to find a course. Um, one of the places I like to look is Udemy. Udemy has a ton of courses and they're typically expensive but they always do sales so just wait till they do a sale. Or you can even go on YouTube how to start learning iOS development. With iOS development would be Swift or how to get into web development. Um, there's so many tutorials. I like Udemy because it's kind of comprehensive but the key with the self-learning journey is, is similar to all the other ones you have to build projects that's the important part you have to build projects and with self-learning you can really it's tough to know when to stop when to stop watching tutorials because you can't you can't watch them forever so I would advise just pick a course maybe go through it excuse me and then after that start building your projects there'll be a bunch of stupid apps like small stuff like a banana tracker or something like it's stupid stuff it doesn't matter like that counts as work experience and you just need to keep building you'll get better you'll work on harder stuff and that's how you'll build the, the skills and the confidence so just self learn it'll work out 
that's it for today guys thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and also share the video with someone who's trying to get into the industry drop a comment with how you got started i'm excited to see it later